G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors out on the Billboard track. What we're doing is heading to the Mount Cook Group Shelter. So let's go and have a look around. So here we are at the Bibbleman Track Mount Cook Group Campsite. There's not actually a shelter here. You've got this undercover area to start with, with two decent sized picnic benches and your normal books when you have to log in when you're on the Billboard track. So you sign in and say where you've come from and where you're going so if anything happens in between they know roughly where you are so it's easier for them to find you just on the side of this area we have two more picnic benches we'll go up there in a moment we'll start down the bottom and work our way up and down towards I think that's the Cook Road over there we'll go down the steps and we have the fire pit now uh, we're in the middle of March at the moment, so fires are not allowed. But they've actually got built-in benches here. And then one decent log. So a nice little group area where you can catch up. And that's the dunnies, the toilets. These are drop toilets, they're not flushing toilets. They're not connected to mains. So all the water... Uh, yeah, there's no water in these. So I said it's composting. So there's no dropping down wet wipes. And ladies, you can't drop down your sanitary stuff because that'll destroy the composting the same as the wet wipes. So you have to carry that home. <coughs> Excuse me. Just use the toilet tissue that you carry. And sometimes you'll, this one says vacant, but it's locked. Let's see a little bit more. Oh, Paul, I've been pushing. So there's your toilets. That's a drop toilet down into compost. And there's one toilet roll here. And then two spare at the top. But normally, toilet rolls aren't really supplied. So it's best to carry your own just in case. And here we've got a second one on the other side. Because there's going to be a lot more people they presume, with it being a group camp. And again, same there. Oh, I'm not knocking myself. Spare t uh, toilet rolls. <laughs> Decent space and nice and clean, apart from the leaves on the ground that the wind's blowing in. Let's close this door. And always remember when you're using the toilets here and finished. Put the toilet seats down to help keep the smell in there if there's any and also to help prevent any wildlife falling down. Let's go back along this way. It's a nice location. Mount Cook is in that direction, I believe. And that's your track. It comes uh, off the spur trail, comes down here off the actual main track. So if we go back up there and take a right, that take us down to the actual Mount Cook shelter. Here we go. Now this area could be used for your tents. It's a big area, so you can all be together. And it's fairly level with all the pea gravel, so if you're going to be using your tent, make sure you bring yourself a footprint to protect the bottom. And we're heading up to where the points for the camp pictures. First one we come to is here. Now the size of tents when I say one will fit on, I'm going to be using the average two person hiking tent. So this ground is flat, it starts coming down this bit as a runoff. 
So realistically on this one, you'll only fit about one comfortably. And the pea gravel is only fine, but still have your ground sheet to protect your tent. That's looking down to the undercover area there. And I've got another track going up this way. Let's see where this one goes to. This one's a good walk up. There's not a designated track that way. It goes around to the right. And we're up at another pitch up here. This one hasn't been used in a while. As Mother Nature's beginning to take it back. Slight lean down the hill. Uh, it's not too bad. Again, it's the pea gravel. The ground is fairly hard at most of the northern campsites. And I've noticed as I've headed south, it's begun to get softer. So it's a bit of a struggle to get your tent pegs in up here in the north. But further south gets easier. And then you're going to need some sand pigs. Next tent pitch, not so much overgrown, but again big enough for one. The ants have tried coming through here, little mounds there, there's none visible at the moment. And next to this one is this another one. Again, the pea gravel, fairly level. Some big bits on this one. There's some nice views. And most of the undercover area is hidden by the bush. Oh, let's keep going. Let's go down now. Came that way. So let's see what we've got further up. Oh, so there's a nice location. Got a nice one there. Bit of a bowl shape, so if it rains, you might get a bit of a collection of water under your tent, but size wise, it's nice. Really with the shape of it and the bowl shape you'll only fit one on this here. But the ground is fairly level, very few, pea, uh, very little pea gravel. And it's been cleared in the middle where people have had their tents. That's good. And we've got another one just up past this. That's a nice looking one isn't it? Hey, right out there at the back. Quite level. Decent size to a comfortable one on here. Yeah, it's nice. I haven't noticed any with decently spaced trees and decent trees to hang a hammock here yet, but hopefully it might do. If you come to this one, you've got to think about using a tent or your swag or your bivy, which at the moment is my favourite to use. And we've got another one up here. That's a nice one, too. Nice size. Not big enough for two, none of these are so far because of the shape and the, um, <coughs> excuse me, the way it goes downhill a little bit at the sides, but it's nice. Got a pea gravel. 
just the feeling of it, you know, you get that feeling, that, that one's got a really nice feeling. This looks like it's the furthest away one, which is a, a nice size. Yeah, really, you'll only get the one on there comfortably. Because again, as you get to this point, it starts going downhill. So you've got the runoff. But it's nice. Probably prefer the furthest away ones because I like to be away from people at night. And most of the time when I come out bush, I just want to be away from people, point blank. This one is a fairly large area. But really only one point good enough for your tent to sit on flat. But otherwise a decent area. If you don't mind leaning downhill you could probably fit two on here comfortably. You just hear the traffic going down the the highway, which is in that direction. I only just hear it. Okay, now it's uh, yeah, we'll go back to the way we came and down the lower track and then back up the other one. You can cut over, that means we'll miss maybe miss some. So we'll just come down that way. So let's go this way, see what there is. where we went up over there the first tent pitch is just by that so we'll come to this large one the, I'm using my walking pole we've been pea gravel I don't want to go slipping so there's the undercover area a little truck coming over the logs and then you've got this fairly decent size area here you're probably going to fit two four six eight maybe even between eight and ten hiking tents on this set, uh, part. Fairly level, you've got your pea gravel still. But nice. And that's right behind the shelter there, or right behind the undercover area. And this leads up to two more and this looks like it I'll we'll lead you to the top one go around the left track and like I said it's big enough for the one fairly level clean area it's really nice and then we've got a small one down here which by the looks of it, we've got a tree root coming across here but with a decent uh, sleep mat, you probably wouldn't even feel that. You'd squeeze. Yeah, you'd nicely fit one tent on that. And that's it. There's no more tent pitches. There's a fair few in the all. They said they're all decent. So even on the worst one on this, you'd be okay. Now water tanks, and from this angle I can only see one, so please only use the water you actually need, uh, don't waste any, yeah they've taken the track around that way, made one there, yeah, don't, don't waste any water, because other people rely on it and these are only rain water tanks. They're not connected to the mains, so the water in there comes off the roof of the shelter, or the roof of the undercover area. And you've got a nice lot of bees here at the moment. I'm oh, trying to get a drink of water. And that's one thing you will notice that some, where there's bees, you quickly pump the water, open and close it, 
but sometimes the bees will climb up the spout trying to get to the water too. But give it a quick open close and if there's any bees up there they'll pop out and then you can get your water. And that's the Mount Cook Group campsite. It's a fairly decent one, I like that. If the other one's too busy, the main shelter, it's only four or five hundred meters from here. Let's take a walk up here. <coughs> Excuse me. And you probably get a quieter night as long as there's not a group in. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it and then select all <laughs> and then click like and thumbs up and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much. So until next time get out there and have some fun. I'm just looking for the trail marker now. <laughs>